Uh, we have to know about our history to know uh, about our future. It's, it's very simple. Several of us uh, saw the history sort of being ignored and sometimes even tossed out into the dumps. And one thing led to another. And so we decided we'd better do something about saving our history. And we got together and, and it made it official with our nonprofit organization in 1975. We presented a proposal to the council, city council, um, in 1985. The council went along with it uh, wholeheartedly. We were lucky to get that carriage house facility thanks to the city and it's helping us with uh, our problem of finding some space. It's an extremely valuable collection and our 1,200 square feet is just bursting at the seams now. Uh, we never turned down a request. And our volunteers are wonderful people and they're so experienced and have such talent. None of us are paid. Um, we have different ways of delivering um, on our promise to our mission. In addition to all the research requests that we regularly fill, that not only do we have history in this building, and the building is very historic, the birth of this town, but we also have history all over the community. The history in the homes, history on the trees on El Camino Real that are very unique to this community um, even before the station was built, um, attracted people to this area because it was so unusual. We just want to show the community that history is all around us. It's everywhere they look, they will be able to make the connection between the past and the present and the future. Then later had our great Burlingame Centennial book uh, that uh, has been very popular and covers the uh, city decade by decade and here we are today with this wonderful uh, museum collection in the railroad station something I never dreamed would happen. It's educating the community about the community but the key is that the community has to give back. It's a very simple formula and membership dues are on average $20. We can't fulfill our mission, we can't have a sustainable uh, society uh, if we don't uh, have contributions other than a membership dues. Uh, that's the only way that we can continue to educate uh, the community on an ongoing basis.